This is a concept right here I'm going to share with you. It's a business principle. They are not chiropractic principles, but they apply to every business. I just applied it to chiropractic. It's called the S-curve of business. Who has heard of the S-curve of business? It's how products and services enter through the market and are consumed. It's called the S-curve of business. It is not a chiropractic principle. And essentially what happens, and since we don't have our PowerPoint presentation, we're just going to have to go with what we've got. But essentially what happens is when you look at the S-curve of business, every product or service enters into the market for us. This is the number, this is the number of people that are utilizing, and this represents time. Okay, this is time and the number. When a product or service enters the business, there's a small segment of group that, do, that jumps onto it. The innovators, typically, you guys have maybe heard that. If it's picked up by another group of people called the early adapters, they'll pick it up. And then the early adapters are the ones that bring it into the masses, into the late adapters, the early majority, late majority. And then the masses, the masses of people actually consume or utilize that product or service. Okay? Now, Bear with me because this is not chiropractic, but this is exactly what's happening to your business. And it's this principle. If you understand this principle, you're going to see how large, how huge chiropractic really is and how large the personal injury market really is. If you can't see this, you will not have much of a vision. Of